CHI stands for Coherent Hub Interface and is an evolution of the ACE protocol. CHI is designed for scalability, allowing you to build small, medium or large systems. These systems comprise of multiple components, ranging from processor clusters, graphic processors and memory controllers to I.O. bridges, PCIe subsystems and the interconnect itself. CHI defines the different components in a CHI network but does not define what topology is used to connect these components. This flexibility in topology allows for the connection of components to be driven by performance, power and area requirements. The following diagrams will show different types of topologies that can implement the CHI protocol. The orange circles represent master and slave components in the network and the boxes represent intermediary components to route transactions between master and slave. So first we see a ring topology which supports small and medium sized systems. The key feature of the ring is that each component connects directly to, at most, two other components, forming a ring where all the components can communicate with each other. A transaction must travel from component to component until it reaches its destination. A drawback with this topology is that as the ring grows with more components, the latency for a transaction to traverse the ring increases, reducing overall performance. Next we see a mesh network. This supports medium and large systems. The mesh topology has additional paths for a transaction to reach its destination and therefore reduces the travel time of a transaction. With more paths for a transaction to flow through, you can add more components without impacting performance. However, the complexity of designing a mesh interconnect is higher than designing a ring-based interconnect, and the area of the mesh is larger than the other topologies as well. Finally, a crossbar interconnect allows you to connect every component to every possible endpoint. This design allows for the highest performance, since every component has a direct connection to the component with which it needs to communicate. The downside here is that the cost of connecting all the components becomes expensive and the complexity of designing a large system increases as well. The crossbar topology is best suited for small or medium sized systems that require high performance.